You remove the bulb on the phone in the living room so that the line wouldn't light up. Because if 6901 lit up, the people there would know that you were talking from the phone in the study. Guesswork, supposition, more cigar ashes. What you need, Lieutenant, is proof. That's what you need, proof. It didn't take me till July. But I got the proof. Right here. Your sworn statement regarding the telephone conversation that you claim you had with Mr. Stafford. But I did talk to him. I talked to him. And he was at the health club? Yes. And he was working out with a barbell? He said he was about to work out. Here's your quote. He already changed into his gym clothes. He said he was going to work out for about a half an hour and then go home. Is that what he said? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, damn it, that's what I said. That's impossible, Mr. Janice. Oh, no, that's just not possible. Lieutenant, that's a very expensive desk. Oh, excuse me. If you just bear with me for a moment. Because this is very interesting. Watch this carefully. I tie my shoes like most right-handed people. I make my first loop. And you'll notice that the loop is over my arch. It's on the same side as my big toe. Is that true? That's right. Bear with me, sir. Well, that's my lunch. That doesn't mean nothing. There we go. This is an old sneaker of mine. Now, I turned that sneaker around just like I was going to tie somebody else's shoe. I do the laces the same way, and I make my first loop. You'll notice that the loop is now on the opposite side. It's on the side of the little toe. Here, it was on the side of the big toe. This is the exact reversal of this. Is that true? Yes, Lieutenant, that's true. See, I knew there was something about these shoelaces that was bothering me. I just couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, oh, yes. Look at this photograph. This is a picture of Mr. Stafford's sneakers. It was taken when the body was discovered. You'll notice that the first loop, which you can always identify, it's the top loop. The first loop is on the side of the little toe. Now look at this shoe. This is Mr. Stafford's shoe. I found it in his locker. Now this is the interesting point. When I tie my own lace, the first loop, is on the side of the big toe. When Mr. Stafford ties his own laces, the first loop is on the side of the big toe. This matches with this. However, when I tie somebody else's shoe, the first loop is on the side of the little toe. And this matches with this. There's only one conclusion. Mr. Stafford did not put on his own sneakers. Somebody else did. And that somebody was you. You changed his clothes. Now, you wait a minute, Lieutenant. I'll tell you something. Your little demonstration proves one thing and one thing only. That somebody else put on Stafford's gym shoes. But the fact remains you can't prove that I did it. It could have been anybody. It could only be you. By your own admission. It had to be you. Mr. Stafford was last seen around 7.30 wearing his business clothes. Now he's alone in the building. The building is locked. And the next morning he's found dead in his gym clothes. And at 9 o'clock the previous evening, nine hours before the body was found, you and you alone knew that he was in his gym clothes. You said so. You swore to it in front of five witnesses. How did you know he was in his gym clothes if you didn't change the clothes?
You try to contrive a perfect alibi, sir. And it's your perfect alibi that's gonna hang you. Just one more thing.